Welcome to another car boot haul. Oh, I've had a really good day. Uh, some stuff I picked up last week as well. So let's get cracking. Uh, first up, I'm not sure if I showed this off in my last video or not. Uh, I found it on the floor, so I'm guessing I probably it got neglected out of the video. Anyway, it is Power Rangers Megazord. This is what um, uh, one of the Samurai Origami Megazords. Really good condition. Very cool figure. Let's pan off a bit. See if can... There we go. That was uh, first up. Continuing with the Power Rangers theme. We picked up this bad boy. I don't know if we see this very well, but let's see if we can move it out of it. There we go. The SBD Overdrive uh, Command Base, is it? I think. It's not in great condition. The uh, got a lot of sun damage on the plastic. I might be able to sort that out with some uh, cleaning techniques, but it cost a pound, so that was really good. And it seems to be all the way there. Most of the ones I see are missing these hands. And they also had the SPD Megazord again for a pound. So. Anyway, so yeah, that was pretty cool. And um, picked up a big bundle of uh, DVDs. Got Eliezard live box set, like seven DVDs, and that. that was two quid. Extras, complete box set, again two quid. The Ricky Gervais show, pound. Dead Space Aftermath, which is a great little manga film based on the Dead Space video game. Kevin Smith, an evening with Kevin Smith, Sucker Punch, and another Dead Space, this one Downfall. That was the DVDs. I just couldn't believe me luck in finding this bad boy. It's uh, Big Daddy from. Uh, Bioshock. This was the. This came with the uh, as an exclusive figure with the the first game, and that actually says six pounds because that's how much it cost me. If it was complete and still sealed with the game, it'd be worth two hundred. And most people tend to want forty, fifty quid. Just for the loose figure, and this one's still in the, the packaging. Picked up this little Minions McDonald's one, that's one I haven't got. That's 50p. Another DVD, this time uh, Bottom Mindless Violence. And we got uh, Brink for the 360. I think that was a pound. I picked up uh, some Mighty Boosh figures. £2.50 we got Vince and uh, Naboo I have never even seen these before but that was, that was a kind of cool find and he also had a bundle of uh, brand new t-shirts this one is also the Mighty Boosh that was 50p so that was pretty good I also found two of these these are like little knockoff Transformers, but they're, uh, they're actually USB sticks. Although the memory's pretty, pretty rubbish. Anyway, uh, 50p for the two. Unfold it like that. There's your little USB thing. You got this random piece of Lego in a box, is there about 20p for it, but the base plate is pretty cool. We bought a Marvel Ultimate Novel, these come on uh, magazines, Eagle Moss magazines. This one is uh, Captain Britain, that was two quid, they had a bunch more but two quid a shot, I didn't want to buy a load. 
Now this was the worst purchase of the day. £2.50 for a bunch of My Little Ponies. I was hoping some of them were uh, originals. This one just looks like a knockoff. Uh, this is a modern one, 2005. This one, that kind of looks genuine now. It's a modern one, 2002. And this one looks original. Um, 1987, so there, we've got one. One original. This one with weird eyes. Again, okay, that's another knockoff. Knockoff. Well, this one's definitely got to be knockoff. It's by Simba. Simba. So yeah, mostly knockoffs, but got one original. Uh, found a store with a deal on. It had lots of stuff, but most of it's way overpriced. But I did buy a few things. This, for instance, is a Supernaturals. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the hologram on it. No, probably not. Um, five pounds he wanted, which in my book is way too much. But it is the last figure that needed to complete the uh, the set of all the action figures. I just need to find his sword and then all the action figures are complete. Yeah, this... Uh, Robocop, I'm going to add a pound for that. Um, I'm not seeing a date on it. Where's the, oh, there's a date. 1993. It's so cheap because it's got his battery pack missing. And there's um, awkward batteries as well by the looks of it. Oh, there'll be a few watch batteries probably. Anyway, that one's a pound. I thought it was, it's not too bad a government collection. But uh, Wuzzle's book. Wuzzle's back go to school. And this would be from 1986. Pretty good condition. This was 50p. Oh, pretty happy with that. Then there's a charity box store. I managed to pick up a few things. This one was uh, Alan Garner's Elador. I've got this book, but uh, this is the older version from. Oh, oh, this would be 1976. It's quite nice to pick up an older version of the book. I picked up this Lego uh, Primo, or Primo, whatever you want to call it, book. It's playtime from birth to 24 months. All these books were 50p. I only picked it up because it was a Lego and an old one and the date would be oh, it's not even that old, 1997. I thought it was older than that. Never mind. And my last book was this Play Hour Annual from 1979. Yeah, it's not bad condition. Yeah, I'll run out of room to show pages. Yeah, it's got some, got some stuff in it. It has been drawn in the puzzles and stuff. Magic roundabout. Uh, Wind in the Willows. Pixie Pip. Mr. Lynn. Not a, a great deal of interest to me, but uh, it was the year I was born, so that was the main reason why I picked it up. And we picked up a tin of Pokemon cards. Quite a few in there, they were. Oh, actually, there's a bunch of Disney stuff in there as well. Came with the marathons, but there's still loads of Pokemon cards there. And they, what series are they? Mix series that was uh, just a pound for that, and uh, lastly, 
she have had to pre-record the video because I had to leave them outside. It's something completely random. Well, let's have a look at it now. This is a bit of a weird purchase for me, but um. Uh, American football pads. My idea is that I want to um, strip them down and um, customize them into like Road Warrior style armor from the film Mad Max. Uh, so that's going to be a future project. So it's helmets as well. Come with all those stuff that's most that's going to have to go put them in the bin, I think. But yeah, he basically Aaron was only really interested in that. But he said he wanted to sell the uh, sell it as a lot, and he wanted eight quid for it, so eight pounds. for well, that's not bad. So I expect to see a future video of a customised Road Warrior style body armour. Okay, until next time. Ta-ra for now.